Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to the Adventure Incorporated podcast. I am your dungeon master, Anthony Reed. This is episode seven, and it is part of the New Beginnings story arc. I want to thank the patrons at patreon.com slash adventuring who listen to this show and get value out of it, and, and it means something to them enough that they want to support it uh, financially in the ways that they can. And uh, I appreciate that so much uh, that they see what we're trying to do as something worth having in their lives. And that's so special. Uh, And so I want to thank all of them so much for contributing to the show, uh, to, you know, the, the all the bonus stuff we get to do, like the tavern nights where we're doing our live streaming or the the bonus episodes or the the beholder streams. That is all because of the patrons, for the patrons, and and it's such a joy to be able to be a part of. And all that bonus content is there for you, too. You can go and check it out at patreon.com slash adventuring. Uh, and if you're not a patron, you can be one and get access to all of those things uh, and support the show at the same time in a very tangible and real way. There are things that we can do with the show, like the transcripts for every episode, for instance, that we just couldn't do without patrons and so uh, i'm so grateful to everyone who makes this show possible uh in a very real way every once in a while we have an episode uh where i i don't want to talk about it anymore i just want to go and do it and so that's what we're gonna do because uh this is where it's happening man we are now in full swing so uh thank you for being here and let's get started Nobles and farmers, knights and scoundrels, gather round, gather round to hear a tale of excitement and mystery. Brave adventurers facing grave dangers. Bill Roth, the ranger. She's a grimalkin, that's, uh, but that's understood. No pets allowed, even though she's not a pet. I will wait outside. Everyone, if anyone needs anything, I am outside. Scarpin, the cleric. Should I just try and snipe them from over here? Yeah, okay. I did say they were as good as dead. I would hate for, for my, you know, to break my word on our first contract as Adventure Incorporated. Ellery, the bard. We would want you to leave this warehouse. He points behind him. Mm-hmm. Church! Oh, sorry. We want you to leave this church. Deerin, the wizard. He say you no worship Shattered Fang. Yeah, man, he's, like, super wrong. We love Broken Tooth. Uh, Shattered Fang, man. Prepare yourselves, for these are the tales of Adventure Incorporated. You are uh, standing in a long entryway uh, inside this temple um, here on the Demon Isles. The uh, There is a silence over this place. Uh, one that, despite the the buffeting, uh, raging energy outside, inside you hear almost nothing. Um, and the, the hallways echo as you move slowly through them. Uh, along the sides of this entryway, there are a few uh, side rooms set up. Um, it looks like Maybe just from glancing through, the doors are all open. Uh, there's stuff, stuff scattered everywhere. They seem to be sleeping quarters off of this main entry uh, chamber. Hey, guys. I I don't know how... Uh, I, I, it seems really important outside, but it also seems like we need to take a little rest before we try to do anything more. Uh, I'm, I'm hurting. I don't, I don't feel great. Like, I know that the guards outside um, didn't, like, lead us here to take a nap. <laughs> but... But... I don't much... know, you guys. Uh, that seems like a really bad idea. Uh, things are, like, pretty crazy out there. How much time would we have... How much time do we realistically have to wait? Uh, probably not long enough. That's that's true. We we had a quick rest earlier, and that seemed to 
exhaust some resources that I would use now. <laughs> so, yeah, Tyrion, maybe, yeah, we push on. I mean, look, man, like, if anybody wants to stop, uh, you know it's me too. Uh, <laughs> but, like, I don't know, guys. It just seemed pretty fortuitous that... We come all this way into this temple, and the first thing we see is sleeping chambers off to our right. <laughs> <laughs> As a group, unanimously, the first thing we all noticed was sleeping chambers. What, what, no, what I mean, it? <laughs> it's definitely like serendipity or whatever. Oh, maybe we should sleep. Maybe it's like... It's like the universe a, is directing us to yeah, nap. Yeah, man, maybe it's a sign. Maybe that's the way to do the magic thing. You know, like maybe we have Scarpin. Yeah. The ground You're beneath a... your feet rumbles. Oh. As soon as I say his name? Yeah. Oh my God, man. It's true. Scarpin, this is a sign, man. Like, uh, what? What? A sign for what? Check it out, dude. You're like a dream guy, right? Yes. And this, like, is a church, man. Yes. And those are sleeping chambers. <laughs> yeah, they appear to be, yeah, yes. And we're all tired, man. Oh, I see where you're going. Like, put all the pieces together, man. I, I need perception checks. Zero <laughs> <laughs> fails. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, Belroth El Ellery is... fails, <laughs> but not. Uh, Belroth is actively looking around and roll the twenty-one. <laughs> Ooh, an eleven for Scarpin. Okay. Well, Belroth, I feel like you weren't listening to Deeran's. <laughs> <laughs> Can't imagine why. Uh... So, um, as we, as you have entered into this space, uh, Belroth, you have Freya with you, right? I do. Yeah, she's laying down in the corner, exhausted. Mm -hmm. from uh the travel oh, um, sleepy kitty uh, you uh, they're <laughs> discussing things behind you and you have uh set up to you know try and figure out what's going on around here you hear the sound of creatures uh scraping claws against stone coming from deeper in this temple headed towards you um guys i i don't think we have time to sleep uh, we might have company. Everyone might want to ready their weapons. And Belroth, uh, crouching next to, uh, you know, crouching next to Freya because he was scratching her belly, uh, pulls out his bow and arrow and knocks an arrow and waits to see what comes through. What if we just hide from him? In the sleeping chambers. Are you <laughs> making fun of the waver in my voice right now? <laughs> no, I'm just so... No... I'm just so tired. <laughs> All right, cool. Never mind, sorry. Like, I'm just, you know, self-conscious. But yeah, let's hide in there. Hiding seems like a good idea. Yes, yeah, so I'll take this one over here. Come on, girl. And, like, tries to... Yeah, it tries once... to move a cat, which is, if you've ever tried to do, impossible. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you fail? I assume. <laughs> No, I, I think she, uh, she is aware of imminent danger. And so while she is very tired, uh, she follows you into one of the chambers. So uh, I'm going to need uh, stealth checks from everyone as you try to do this quickly with, you know, creatures on their way. Also, we shut the door behind us. Certainly. Uh, Quiet quietly. Slam. <laughs> 19. We'll see how quietly you do it. That's why I want stealth checks. <laughs> Three. Um, <Five>. 16. So, here, <laughs> okay. <laughs> did we split the party? <laughs> I did better than Mikey. Uh, you did do better than Mikey. So, I think uh, Ellery and um, Belroth... Uh, you two quickly duck into side rooms uh, and shut the door quietly. Uh, Deeran, uh, 
I think maybe you go for the same one that Ellery was going to. Ellery gets in there first, and you're like, oh, sorry, man. Like, I'll, uh, And then like you go to like the farthest one away. Uh, so as people are coming down the hallway, you're like still scrambling to get into place. Uh, and Scarpin, you realize you don't fit through the doorway. Uh, you're too wide. <laughs> that shell oh, of no. yours. <laughs> Which one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One of them's more easily turned sideways. That's, that's true. Um, although it's difficult to turn them both sideways simultaneously. That's the real sure. problem. <laughs> sure. If I had more time, I could figure this out. Right. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> um, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <clears throat> so uh, as you are uh, still in, in this uh, entryway... Um, <laughs> Scarpin, you uh, now exposed to this room, and Deer and you as well, uh, you see four uh, small imp-like creatures. There are four small creatures, similar to the ones you saw uh, outside, the ones, uh, the sort of bulky uh, creatures with human-like faces um, and claws. Uh, those creatures, four of them are coming down the hallway. Behind <laughs> them... Uh, two figures in armor humanoid. Uh, they are they they look like Belroth, except uh, different and strange. Their features are uh, like they're almost like a caricature of them. The, the features are enhanced in ways. They are wider uh, horns sweeping off the head, um, like a, a different shape to the bone structure of the face. Uh, enough to make you think of a tiefling, but something very strange and different about these creatures. Uh, they see you, Deeran, and uh, Scarpin, and they say, uh, one of them says, What is happening here? Intruders? What do you uh, hope to accomplish? Uh, is this the way to the restroom? It's, it's, it seems a little small. Uh, this door here. Is it down this way? I'll head this way. Don't worry about it, me. He yeah, turns. Man, we were, we were like, uh, just here before, uh, and then all this started happening, uh, and it made me have to pee. Very much so. Give me uh, deception checks. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Scarpin hadn't participated in the, the deception. This would have gone better. <laughs> um, Deeran, like, crosses his legs ooh. convincingly. Uh, 21. 18. Okay. It's, nobody knows how a turtle pees, so they're just like, <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Through a cloaca, Rob. Oh, well, now everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> so you get met back by stunned silence from these creatures. Uh, the four little uh, bulky creatures trudge their way out of the building uh, right past you. They uh, clearly don't have any, uh, you know, they were given instructions. Uh, but these other two, they don't really know. They, they seem confused by what you've said. Uh, you know, you don't know that if they've, bought it per se but they definitely uh haven't acted on this information come on man is this the room and Deeran like gestures to the door that he was trying to go through uh you cannot be here uh, just real quick man come on he turns Whoa. to the other and he says secure the ritual chamber uh and the creature nods and heads back up the hallway Oh, well, not now that we're here, uh, what, what, what is, you seem to know no, what's going on here? No, just tell me the bathroom, man. Come on. <laughs> there is no bathroom here. You That's... will not get access to this place. Be look gone. At all the, look at all the pews, man. There's no way you could have this many people in here without a restroom. Come on. I, I don't. Go outside. <laughs> just tell me, man. <laughs> Give me it's a persuasion. It's crazy out there. <laughs> Give me a persuasion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't that forget is, that uh, your ability checks. Uh, well, I guess only my. Oh. Uh, yeah, you are exhausted. Yeah. What level exhaustion? I'm three. Two? You're two. Okay, so what is that? Where is exhaustion? I, gotta... I think Mikey oh, is. Oh, I do have disadvantage. Okay. Oh. Um, it it would have been a sixteen. So, so not my bad. persuasion is 11. Okay. 
<laughs> Let's roll this back. <laughs> <laughs> you need to leave now, both of you. You are not welcome here. And it's just the one? It is now just the one creature, yes. Uh, oh. Deeran shoots eyes at Scarpin. Scarpin. Really quickly. Makes eye contact. Uh, yeah, and then uh, Deeran's eyes roll white back in his head. Uh, the hair flies, like, floats up again really quickly. He grabs the, the necklace around his, uh, around his neck, and a, a dark lightning bolt flies out of it. Uh, I, hate it which bolt. I hate it when he does that with his eyes. So. <laughs> uh, and it's a ranged spell attack, so... 15 to hit? No, not going to hit. Um, you fire off the witch bolt and he actually, like it, it crackles into his armor and bounces off, uh, like tearing off to the side, like ricocheting away. And he says, uh, you are here to stop this. Well, you are too late. And he draws his hand forward and a dark rift of energy opens behind him and scarpin for you this energy is similar to the energy you felt when you used detect magic it's almost like an absence of energy in this place uh, like it's drawing in uh and from it a large creature uh, two heads on this dog-like beast, veins of magma running across its body, uh, steps out of this portal. As it steps, everywhere its foot touches, fire flares up on the stones around its feet, and they begin to melt uh, in. And he says, deal with it. I must go back. The ritual is almost done. And he turns and walks away. Uh, roll initiative. Oh, oh boy! No. <laughs> At well, disadvantage. Belroth is, <laughs> is in another room, so uh, natural one, Wait. which would be a six. I don't know if if, if if initiative is actually a disadvantage, but you're exhausted. I'm saying, All you right. know what? Let's make it a thing. That's a four. Well, then mine's a four as well. <laughs> well, you, you're you, you're busy. You already did something. It had been an eighteen. I got a six. Awesome. I got a also six. <laughs> we're bad. <laughs> we were surprised. <laughs> we're exhausted. <laughs> Ugh, we're sucks. sleepy. Are the two of you in the room sleeping and you just hear this? <laughs> no, I imagine like, um, I imagine it's pretty easy to hear. Yeah, yeah. The from so like bed. once we go mm. in. We heard the confrontation start, and like Ellery would have had her ear pressed to the door to see if they were able to get themselves out of it. And then, and Belroth and Ellery, what you guys realize when you enter these rooms, it looks like so. We'll, we'll put a pin in what's happening outside the room for a moment just to talk about what's happening inside these rooms. Uh, these rooms look like they were used very recently, like today. Uh, hmm. they have people's belongings in them, uh, but they have also been absolutely ransacked. Uh, okay. everything's been torn apart, thrown everywhere. The beds have been ripped apart. Uh, they have just been destroyed, but it looks like this, everything is like new and current. So, uh, these were rooms that were being used and now are in bad shape. But yes, the door is thin enough that you've been able to hear what's been going on, uh, and you know shit has gone sideways. So, the creature charges forward. The first one, uh, yeah, it goes for Scarpin, um, and as it charges towards you, you can feel the heat coming off of this creature, uh, and it runs up and tries to like throw its paws out at you. Um, and then it also tries to bite down onto you with its heads. So when as it throws its paws up, you get your shield up uh, and it slams against it. And, you know, it's hot. It doesn't like destroy your shield or whatever, but you can see the lines of uh, like magma that seem to stream through this creature, like as part of its being. Cool. 
it does bite down onto you hard with one of its heads. Uh, the two heads are barking, uh, like hot spit coming from their mouths. Uh, uh, and as one of them slams its teeth down into you, you take six damage. Uh, Scarbin's down. Okay. It's your turn. Give me a death saving throw, Scarpin. Ooh. I'll go last. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen. Eighteen. <Yay>. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, if you come back from being downed, what does does that change fix your exhaustion? I doubt Ooh. it. <laughs> It's not shadow poison or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I think the only thing that fixes exhaustion is long rests. And I Finishing actually think you have to rest run. a number of days equal to your level. Yes. yes. Every time you rest, you get one, so one level back. It's not even a long rest. It's like non-adventuring time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. All well, right. Scarpin's so... starting his uh, long rest right now. <laughs> <laughs> Very long rest. Um... Ellery is going to run out of uh, the room and she will throw her chakram at this thing. Okay. 16. That hits. Oh. Um, for six damage. Okay. That's going to be the beefiest I get, y'all. So <laughs> hope you can heal yourselves. Uh, <laughs> um, Anthony, quick scan of the room I'm in. Is there anything useful that isn't ransacked? Like what? Um, what are you like uh, some sort of a weapon or magical thing that I could potentially throw at this beast. You do not see any weapons here. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't see any weapons in here. You could okay. throw objects, like improvised objects, but you don't get the sense that that would be... Nope, got it. Yeah. Um, Belroth bursts out of the room that he's in, uh, sees Scarpin down. Um, Hunter's mark on this magma beast. Here we go. Um, so I make an attack. Mm, I thought you were going to say, and he heals him. I don't have the ability to. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, fifteen. That hits. Hey, so I deal D eight plus another D eight. I think two D eight. Yeah, because of the. Nope, D six. D eight, D six. Hell yeah. Uh, 13 damage. Boom. Nice. Uh, notices right kind of, has seen a, a, a fiery dog before, just not quite this one necessarily, and assumes the weak spot is the same, and turns out necks are usually pretty weak. Yeah, in general, th I mean, this is definitely very different. Uh, <laughs> but it has a neck, before. so yeah. he shoots it. But it does have a neck, you're right. Uh, <laughs> Two, in, in fact. <laughs> Like uh Deeran Deeran notices uh Belroth like scanning uh the creature uh and he goes, Hey man, um should I use like ray of frost on it or whatever? Cause like fire or like should I do total like uh, cause I, I see it's hit. Uh what do you think, man? I don't no, I don't know. Oh my F god, fine. Uh, and Deeran, like, <laughs> swings his arm around his head and rings the bell. Uh, and okay. So it has to make a wisdom save. <laughs> uh, it fails. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it rolled a one. Uh, it, it <laughs> so you does... know what? That's a critical. Okay. Uh, it does 12 damage. Uh, oh, wait. We do max dice roll plus a roll for criticals? Yeah. Uh, it does 22, 21 damage. I know spells don't typically critical, but I think in this right. instance, like, uh, <laughs> you really failed that wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so 12 plus 10 is 22. 22. Yeah. yeah. Woo! That's math. Nice. Okay. 
That seemed like the correct choice. <laughs> uh, obviously, there's oh. only one. Uh, go ahead. Deer in Pat's his pockets, and he's like, "Hey, man, uh, I can't find mine, but like, does anybody still have their potion for Scarpin?" Yeah, Ellery tosses it to Deeran. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Deeran catches it as it comes to him. <laughs> uh, okay. Don't remember. Uh, obviously, there, I have no other choice here but to have the hound attack three times to Scarpin. So, uh, right. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, what else would it do? <laughs> it would certainly attack at least twice. <laughs> um, okay. So the creature uh, turns uh, back to the room, having just been uh, struck by several things. Uh, you know, it got hit by a chakram and an arrow and, and magic. And it just scans the room and its heads actually are both looking in different directions when it starts to bound away. And it does sort of this scrambling with its body uh, as the heads try to coordinate which direction they're actually going to go. Um And the answer is after Ellery, uh, when all is said and done, as they uh, bound toward her, uh, and they make a another attack with their paws. It's a miss. Uh, and then it tries to bite twice. Uh, that is two hits. You take two damage from the first bite and three damage from the second bite. Bad dog. <laughs> uh, the creature is just snarling and it's uh, hot saliva uh, from where it has bitten you is rolling down your body. It's like b almost boiling, uh, like a scalding saliva, a saliva, 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 scalding <laughs> saliva. It's kind of saliva. I mean, kind of. Yeah, it's saliva lava. lava. Yeah. yeah. I knew what you were saying there, Anthony. I was on the same page, but I don't know where the rest of this cast is. But jeez. <laughs> okay, it's your turn. Um, I guess I'll do this then. Uh, does it cost me an action to give Scarpin the potion? It does. It does. It does. Great. Oh, let me okay. do it, Aaron. I mean... It's going to take as much time for me to give it to you, is it? <laughs> uh, Ellery runs to Deeran and grabs it. If you run from where oh you're standing, God. you will take an attack of opportunity. The creature is on you. Fine. All right. Uh, and Deeran pops the potion uh, and pours it down Scarpin's gullet. So you will roll the dice for the potion, Deeran. Okay. Uh, and those were, um, I wrote it down. Yeah, 2d4 plus... How many potions did we have? I forget. Everybody had one. Okay. Everybody gets one. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, Spider-Man. That's right. Four, <laughs> so uh, 2d4 plus four. So you get five, nine health back, Scarpin. Wow. Scarpin pops up real fast. <laughs> he does fast. a kip up? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you've never well, seen like a total do that. Like turtle, like, like a shell. To oh, like, yeah. Hup. Oh, and it, man, it's just like in the traveling place from when I was a kid. Whoa! <laughs> I feel great! And that's... Scarpin wants to attack. He feels ready. He feels ready. Okay. Yeah! He just swings with a... With a, with a uh, eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, Scarpin, you run over with that quarterstaff, and you go to smack it onto the back of the creature. You hit the creature... It doesn't seem to be phased. Oh, well, uh, I'm glad to be back. Goodness. Uh, Belroth uh, makes another attack at the uh, flaming hound. Um, it is ooh, not as good. Twelve. Uh, Twelve does not hit. Yeah. Off to the side. Uh, Ellery? Yeah, so Ellery is going to um, take the chain of her cloak and 
try to uh, swing up and around the neck of this, one of the necks of this dog, I guess, um, to either leash it or choke it. She's not sure which. <laughs> okay. So give me a strength check. Okay. Oh, I don't want to roll a d12 for that. 18. Uh, wait. Uh, uh, 18. <laughs> so, uh, Ellery, you take the chain. You loop it around one of the heads. And I think you just, like, plant your feet on the side of the creature and yank backwards. Uh, oh, yeah pulling this head this way. Uh, the other head is spun around, f like, searching for Scarpin, who just hit it on the butt, uh, which actually has is increasing your ability to, uh, like, strangle out this creature, in theory. So, uh, I think what's gonna happen is that, that that head will not be uh, available during this next attack. Oh, Ellery, hey. you learned that from Grandma? <laughs> Uh, as you say that, Scarpin, the other head turns to you uh, and tries to bat at you with its paw uh, and then tries to bite down onto you. You know, you know what she says. You got to wrangle a few sheep to stay warm in the winter. Okay. Uh, the... <laughs> really aggressive. <laughs> the... <laughs> the paw. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like I, I was rolling season. dice. I was, yeah, I was rolling <laughs> dice and didn't realize what you said. That's woof. <laughs> I mean, I know it's, it's... generally wool doesn't kill the sheep, right? But not the way you said it. Feels a little. I <laughs> no. mean, we also are a village of vampire. <laughs> it's true. Who purposefully true. breed sheep to keep blood. So yeah, to keep true. warm in the winter. Uh, yeah. 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 So. Yeah. I think it was just the accent that really made me think immediately cuffing season. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not going to look it up. <laughs> a paw comes in at you, Scarpin, uh, and you again pop your shield up and get pushed back by it. Uh, but And then when the head turns, you can see Ellery like tugging on the neck of one of the, the dogs that's like fighting to try and like gnashing its teeth, trying to get away. Uh, the other one clamps down right onto you, uh, bites in for four damage. Oh. Okay. Um, so it's your turn again, everyone. Damn. Scarpin's just angry and just like, yanks uh his 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 body away um from the creature and takes his quarter staff slams it onto the shield casting toll of the dead okay so wisdom saving throw wisdom dc12 it succeeds all right ah that loud noise would scare it away but it didn't <laughs> anybody anybody got anything else <laughs> Uh, Ellery is going to kind of do a jump off of the, off of its side and twist the chain as she goes down to okay. like secure it. Give me another strength check. Ooh, uh, four. Okay. Uh, so I think, yeah, you jump down to try and pull the creature's head, uh, and it tugs back, uh, and you're right, you're still riding this thing like you you had enough to hold on to the chain mm -hmm. still you're still wrapped in there but you didn't really get to do what you'd hoped to do with it yeah uh belroth um seeing things not going the way they planned or should have gone i, I don't know uh he shoots <laughs> another arrow hopefully uh into the neck again uh 14 okay 14 hits yeah Twelve. Okay. Uh, um, the arrow sinks I in deep, also... and lava is pouring from the wound that you shot into. Can I also try and like? Basically, I want to try and not necessarily intimidate it, but like her, like basically use some animal knowledge. I want to roll an animal handling check, and I don't necessarily know what it would do. <laughs> like, no. I <laughs> All right, my turn's over. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't really know. If you have a plan, then... I don't. I okay. don't. I really don't. I just was like, I, I was uh, like, I'm gonna start talking. <laughs> the plan's gonna be there, <laughs> and then it and wasn't. it wasn't. It, it just wasn't. So it's fine. I hate when that happens, bud. God. <laughs> what you doing here? Is this one? Because it never happens to me. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I am going to, uh, it worked the first time so well. Uh, he's going to cast Toll the Dead again. Uh, hands above his head. He <laughs> rings the bell. Uh, well, I don't know why. Scarpin, Scarpin tolls the dead, right? And it's like, I rolled a, a, will, a wisdom save. It's like 15. Boom. And then you told the dead. He's like two. <laughs> <laughs> he's just better, better at it. Yeah. Uh, it takes six damage. Which is enough uh, for this creature. You toll the dead, and Ellery, you feel it shift under your feet as it falls down onto the ground. You, like, surf it to the ground. Uh, and the now it is, like, hot molten lava is now flowing out from it into the stone around your feet. Hey, hey man. Um, Scarpin. Yeah. Why does why is your toll the dead so bad? <laughs> I think I, I think I'm not hitting it directly in the center here. Where do I get the best acoustics? I think I'm oh, mis sure. just missing yeah, the mark. Yeah, yeah I gotta yeah, choke up a bit. That. Yeah. Uh and Deren like Deren puts like the like his robes back together, like he pulls them tight, uh, and corks the bottle from the empty potion. Uh puts it in his jet. Oh man, here's mine. <laughs> hey Ellery. Uh thanks. And he hands it to her. The um, empty bottle? No, the the full oh. bottle. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Deren. Uh that's a good idea though, if any of us need to I guess I am not gonna be able to make anyone feel better until I can get some sleep. Scarpet chugs his apparent potion that he has. <laughs> that he definitely remembers having. That he <laughs> wrote down on his character sheet. Anthony, quit asking questions. Don't uh -huh. make that face. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. they, they, they told me I had it. <laughs> 2d4 plus 4? That sounds weird. Or, is it, or 2d4 plus... All right. Maybe it's plus 2. I don't remember, but just... Well, either way. Take the 4. <laughs> I'm going to take it. It is plus... Uh, no, I'm not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I rolled Good a work. six, which I'm just happy about. I'm already, I'm at full. Great. Wait, no, no, that's not accurate. But I have more than I had. Uh, that is so, also accurate. Um, like, if y'all just are going to stand here, I'm going to go, like, I feel like we really need to go fix this. I don't think we can rest, uh... Scrub and smashes the bottle and heads down the hallway. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> All right. That's so aggressive. <laughs> Jiren places the empty bottle like so gingerly in his pocket and Scarpin's like, fuck this bottle. Let's go. And in my head, I imagine Scarpin breaking it on his own head. So... <laughs> Drinking a, drinking a potion of healing, then smashing it on your own head. <laughs> Scarpin uh, uses his uses his uh, uh, turtle talons to punch a hole in the bottom of the the vial <laughs> on the top. <laughs> <and> <laughs> that's cool. Let's, let's, uh, let's wind it back. Let's wind it back. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so the four of you are pressing on? Yeah, Ellery is going to pick up her chakram on the way. Okay. Uh, you press forward into uh, the, the next chamber, which is uh, outfitted with a long table. Uh, probably could seat 12 people at this table. Uh, there is a, a, a opening at the far end of this room and an opening along one of the walls. Uh, the wall opening is like... Uh, both a doorway and a large window um, that seems to go into like a kitchen area uh, behind this space. The opening in the far uh, hallway seems to open into another chamber. 
Uh, where's the magic coming from? Deeper in. Yeah, it's not coming from the kitchen. <laughs> take, take kitchen magic. <laughs> <laughs> the deer uh, doesn't go there. Turns out it was just real good bread. <laughs> That's the whole thing was just real good bread. Honestly, never underestimate the power of really good bread. <laughs> I want real good bread. <laughs> it's enough to raise Life a city. Changing. Uh, so yes, you push on through this uh, dining area uh, into a large, uh, almost looks like a. a like a theater space. Like it's like, it's built like an amphitheater, but it's inside. Uh, so there's like the steps go down, uh, to a central space down below. It looks like this may be where, uh, it looks like a meeting place or, uh, maybe a place that where, uh, sermons were delivered. Uh, and it has an opening behind it as well. That's where, that's where the magic is coming from. There's another chamber beyond. Oh, man, this reminds me of being back in school. Let's go. Wait, should we have a plan before we go in? We can't just kick down the door. These creatures seem to be a lot stronger than we expected. What if uh, we kick down the door and then kill them? Yeah, let's do it. And Scarvin kicks down the door. So oh, as geez. <laughs> you get down to the bottom and you kick open the door, uh, what is beyond the, this door is like a, a solid door um, and it's ornately carved and you kick open the door and beyond it is a hallway. Uh, you can see at the far end of this hallway, you can see magical energy uh, glowing, but it is at the far end of this hallway and this hallway, you can already just by looking at it, uh, this hallway is not all that it seems. And on the door, now that you've kicked it open, uh, in the space above the door, uh, you can see carved into the stone that this is the Hall of Trials. Oh. It's always a trial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can we... Are you telling me in 300 years? Still Come trials, on. dog. There's always trials. It's trials all the way down. Uh, what? Dull this Roth. is just trials. Shh, always has been. Always has been. <laughs> uh, Belroth knocks um, an arrow in his uh, longbow, and if everyone's proceeding forward, he's proceeding forward behind them. Okay. Yeah, Scarpin's lost a little steam because he was like, <laughs> like, like, like hothead, like going through the door, and then he, it's just a long hallway. So he's like, okay, he just the, meanders. The three down. levels of exhaustion hit him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's first in this process? You're like Scarpin. Scarpin, <laughs> when you step through the door, the hallway in front of you shifts and changes uh and suddenly what was the end starts to raise up and this hallway turns into not a hallway but like a tunnel that you have to climb ascend uh to reach the platform above so it's like the whole thing has shifted uh from your perspective <sighs> For those of you who are still in the room previous, this whole bottom floor has dropped down. And now uh, the amphitheater space above you is now like you're almost like in a well uh, surrounded by uh, those seats up above. I can't. Um, I don't want to make it up. This, oh, this sucks. All right. Um, let's do it. Let's, well, uh, let's do it. I'm the I'm the least exhausted. What if I climb up and drop a rope down? Would that make the most sense so that we don't all kill ourselves getting up there? Yeah. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. That would, that would help me. Um, puts his the arrow he knocked away, uh, kind of like wraps the um longbow around him and he tries to climb the, the hall climb the hallway. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. Uh so um you approach and you can see that there are uh, several of what were floor tiles are now available as like handholds. Like you have to really try to get in between these spaces, uh, but but they are there. Uh, so go ahead and give me an athletics check. Why not acrobatics? <laughs> 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 
Ooh, that's good. 15. Okay. Uh, yeah, you start to climb up. Give me a perception check. So many checks. I'm checking on you. Uh, nah, five. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, yeah, you begin to scale this floor, uh, that is a, a wall, uh, and make your way up the tunnel and a couple of places, like there's no good handhold. And so you have to like move to the wall, uh, and start to climb there. Uh, one place you see a perfect place to put your hand and you slap your hand on it, uh, and it shifts slightly and a bolt fires from the wall behind you and what? shoots into your hand <laughs> for... <laughs> Two damage. Oh, not that bad. It's fine. <laughs> oh, you just hear echoing through the hallway, like, hup, 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 hup. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Belaroth, are you all right? I'm fine. The bolt a... is fletchingless, and so as you pull your hand away, there is now a bolt, like, jammed into the wall. So I pulled it through? Uh, it, you could pull it out of the wall if you want, but I don't think you have the leverage to well, get if it. Well, if it bolted into my hand, it went through my hand, and then I yes. shifted it out the other side. God, why <laughs> did I do it that way? You're, You're so right. cool. I yeah, know. He's badass. Oh, that sucks. I mean, there was not, there did not appear to be another great way to get it off. <laughs> well, Belaroth is pretty sweet, I guess. Uh, <laughs> he keeps climbing. Oh, God, okay. with a giant fucking hole in his hand. So give me uh, another uh, athletics check. This is not at disadvantage. However, if you get shot again, it will be. Sure. Uh, <laughs> he's going to be on alert looking for uh, bizarre looking holes. Okay. And uh, Give me uh, the athletics first. 18. Great. Give me another perception check. 17. Okay. Um, so this time as you climb up through, uh, you go to reach up and you feel before you put your hand down on like a, on a hold, you feel the string, uh, that is set up here. That is like a trip wire. Um, and so you're able to pull up beside it and see that it's connected to some sort of mechanism that goes into the wall. You're not sure what would happen if you trip this, uh, trip wire. Uh, you don't particularly want to find out, I suspect. You don't know. Uh, you're right. That's why I said I suspect. <laughs> uh, he keeps climbing. Okay. Give me another uh, athletics check. Uh, 11. And okay. then um, 15 for perception. The way Belroth is doing this, I don't think there's a risk of Belroth falling off unless he triggers one of these traps to like aggressively right uh but i think that it's just about how many checks we have to make to get up there right yeah, so yeah, yeah so you said you had 11 for athletics what was your perception 15 i think i said that's uh, i believe that's correct i believe that's what you said um so uh yeah you continue to make your way up uh you find another what you believe to be a trap um, and you, uh, sidestep that as well. You're not even sure if it was a trap, right? Like it was just a more protruding, uh, handhold than you felt comfortable using. Um, at this point you're on the ceiling of the hallway, uh, as you make your way up, uh, and you feel like it's, it's close. You're close to the end. All right. Perception and athletics, right? Yes, please. Huh. <clears throat> uh oh, <laughs> uh oh, um, Perception, I will start with. Uh, 18. Okay. One. <laughs> okay. Belroth, you start to make your way up, uh, and almost too late, you spot a trap. Uh, and you spot it, like, from looking behind you and seeing the line of, like, arrows that would come at you if you put your hand there. Uh, and it's... So last second that you actually scramble and, and fall a, a bit of a ways down the the thing, but you catch yourself. Uh, so you're just, you're lower down than you were. Uh, go ahead and give me another set of rolls. Oh, that's much better. Um, uh, so I know where that trap is, right? Yes. Okay. So knowing where that trap is, it's good. Because I rolled a 16 to climb and a 7 
for perception. <laughs> so, but I know uh, where it is. I know yeah. what I'm looking for. So you you scale again and you avoid it this time. You get uh, around back to the uh, to the top of this space uh, and you drop down onto the uh, area below. Like you kind of have to do like a swing and jump to oh. get onto the top of uh, this tunnel. And when you land, you feel you hear your feet click, uh, and <laughs> no. the ceiling drop several stones down the tunnel to the bottom. So I need everyone else. You can see, you're looking up, you're watching this happen. You see him land. Everyone's excited. And then the stones start to fall. So I need dexterity uh, saving throws at advantage. So if you are disadvantaged, you are now at normal. And uh, Ellery, you have advantage. <laughs> <laughs> You said dexterity save? Yes. Since I'm only level two Ooh. exhausted, I get advantage as well. Okay, Sorry, Mikey. great. So, Mikey. <laughs> you get <Twenty>. regular. <laughs> 20, you said, Ellery? Mm-hmm. Great. <laughs> Deeran? <laughs> Deeran. Uh, eight. Okay. It's five. Eight is better than the natural one, uh, which was the <laughs> other die. Cool. Okay. So you both take nine damage as you are buried by stone uh, underneath, uh, like Oof. here on this space. So, Adiran, are you still conscious? Yep. And and Scarpin, you're just barely conscious, right? Yep. Okay. So, uh, the rocks pile on top of you and uh, it's a lot, but you think you could push your way out. If you felt up to it, you might not. Dear, so, feels up to it. Give me a strength check. He, oh, jeez! I just thought you meant like, if he's up to it, <laughs> if you're up to it. Uh, <laughs> Elroth t rips a page out of his notebook with his hand bleeding and starts to write a note. Look for step stones and trip wire. They are traps. P.S. Sorry. And he tries to tie it to the rope that he's going to lower. <laughs> Ten. Sorry for not telling you which ones. <laughs> so, uh, dear, you like <laughs> press your hands against the ground and like push with all of your might and the rocks like clatter against each other as you push yourself up out of the fallen stones. Uh, and But you do... Uh, Ellery, you just see all these rocks fall on your friends as you've jumped out of the way with Freya. Um, and then uh, you just see Deeran like rise up out of the stone, like covered in oh, chips and man. dust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, gosh. <sighs> you all right, Deeran? Uh yeah, I'll be all right. Uh, and he reaches into his uh, robes and he pulls out the empty bottle. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and he just like discards it. Like he just throws it on the ground. Uh, a um, rope so falls from above and slaps you on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Ellery is going to hold out her potion to him. Um, <laughs> and then she's going to like, like, blow on his face which sounds really weird when i say it out loud <laughs> but i was thinking like you know like a to get yeah. some of the like dirt off the of him no. oh. yeah that's yeah, sweet like, that's sweet <laughs> it sounds very it's a not a, it's a weird sentence to say <laughs> <laughs> i blow on his face did did you get that did you get that i blow on his face right? <laughs> do i have to roll a check <laughs> all right dear and if you're gonna roll a blow check <laughs> You heard me. <laughs> uh, that's uh, botchedpodcast.com. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, great. Now we can't use this as a promo. <laughs> uh, uh, Darren, if you're going to suck down that potion, uh, you may roll the dice for it. Uh, I don't know, man. I think maybe you should hold on to it for now. Uh, you seem to get hit more than I do. She, like... <laughs> Looks at him for a second. <sighs> okay. Yeah, he like wipes the blood out of, off his nose. Like <laughs> he doesn't look good. Uh, <laughs> it'll be all right. Uh, 
Scarpin, are you going to stand up? <laughs> no, no, he's going to hang out for a little while. <laughs> I'm okay down here. <laughs> Scarpin's becoming more and more Eeyore <laughs> as we get further along this dungeon. So he's like aggressive Eeyore, though. He's like <laughs> rabbit, rabbit plus Eeyore. <laughs> Here's... Scarpin, are, are you all right down there, man? No, but <laughs> but uh, but I'm here. Uh, and Deeran starts like scrambling to throw rocks off the pile to get to him. Ooh, that might help <laughs> with his second strength check. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, uh, at eleven. Yeah, you push push your sail, yourself up out of there. So Ugh. I think uh, what we will say is that uh, with the rope. And with the guidance from Belroth, lifting and, and helping, um, you guys do manage to get your way up uh, safely. Um, <laughs> I assume but it Freya takes was time. like a tied to the, the end and like hoisted up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's like <laughs> ropes underneath her arms just yeah. like pulled oh. up slowly. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so the five of you get your way, <laughs> you get to the top, uh, and, uh, Belroth, you are now sort of in the lead. You turn, take another step, and the whole thing shifts, uh, as the space behind you raises back up, uh, to meet with the same level that you are now on. Do, am I the only one who sees that or does, do they no, all everyone, see that? No, everyone sees that. Okay, I didn't know. I'm sorry, everyone. I should have just stepped through the door. I, I, I didn't realize that would have made the rest easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, oh, I, it's all right. It, uh, it just made for a little bit of dust down below. Does uh, anyone need a potion? I still have mine. Yes. Okay. And okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gives Scarpin his uh, potion. <laughs> Drinks it and just drops it. He doesn't slam it on the ground. He just drops it. Thank you. <laughs> Take your 2d4 plus whatever Anthony says. Four is fine. <laughs> Has Scarpin taken three out of the four potions that we have? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what happens when you have a yes. disadvantage on every roll. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> disadvantage on heal heal healing potions. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Scarpin's looking pretty good. Attached to this hallway, there is another short hallway. And on the other side of that, you can see the ritual occurring. Uh, I, think, right. I think that's that's where we need to head. All right, team, what's the game plan? We're, we're hurting. Uh, Do we you don't, think when we... we step into this hallway, it's going to be a down slope? <laughs> oh, that would be great. Maybe it would be like a slide that we can just go down. Her right. arms in it, the air. Deeran jumps uh, into the hallway to have it slide him in. Yeah, nothing happens. You're just standing in a hallway. <laughs> oh. It's no, very guys. short. It's a very short hallway. <laughs> it's not like the last one. Sorry, Deeran. Me too. <laughs> well, I guess we should still do this. Do we have a plan? I... Belroth, did you come up with a plan yet? I, well... No, um, it, it was your idea to have a plan. I thought for sure, like while we were climbing the ropes and getting buried by rocks and like drinking potions and stuff, like you would be using that big old brain of yours to come up with a plan for us to do. I was trying, but I got shot in the hand with an arrow and it is very distracting. <laughs> that was like a long time ago, man. It was two <laughs> minutes ago. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> well, it's a ritual. So all we need to do is disrupt it. I just don't know how to get out then safely. So if we can figure out what the ritual is, disrupt it, and then hightail it out of there, we're good. I oh, just don't so know good. how to do any of that. Deer runs in. <laughs> uh, like a long, lanky, weird run. Deer you make your you burst out into the chamber uh inside you see uh six of these uh humanoid like creatures uh oh standing uh, uh you know around a giant stone circle uh embedded into the wall this stone circle is uh covered in mystic runes and it has uh, eight gems embedded into this circle a large crack running through it 
and the creatures who are focusing their attention up there turn as you enter. And uh, one of them, the one you recognize from down below, says, I told you, you're already too late. Yeah, man, it seems like there's no bathroom anywhere in here. You were right. There is a sudden crack as the stone on the wall, the uh, crack that runs along it, begins to widen. And the whole thing seems to take in a heavy sigh and then shatter. Uh, pieces of shrapnel flying off of the object across the room. So I need everyone to make dexterity saving throws. Oh, no. Oh. Belroth is fine. <laughs> 16. Seven. Nope. Give me one for Freya, too, please. Sure. Um, I don't know what it would be, but I can look it up. It's going to a 12. With my plus four dexterity, I got a five. <laughs> um, Freya got a 20. Dirty 20. Okay. <clears throat> Deeran and Ellery, um, as these fragments of stone spray across the room, uh, Scarpin and Belroth and... Um, uh, Freya are able to like turn away, but these stones just buffet against you and hammer into you, slicing your skin. You both take six damage, and it's as though the stones have embedded themselves into your skin. As this happens, and the stone crumbles away. The space behind the stone is a shimmering rift of this negative energy. A full, the circle is 15 feet all the way around. And as it pulses with this anti-energy, a wave of force pushes off of it. I need constitution saving throws from everyone. Seventeen. Freya got a fifteen. Belroth got a three. Five. I beat Belroth. <laughs> Jiren got a four. <laughs> the wave of energy pushes Belroth and Scarpin and Deeran against the wall, and as they do, you fall unconscious instantly from the force of this. Uh, mm -hmm. Ellery, you and Freya are standing there, like facing off against the force that's coming from this gaping portal. And as you do, six figures emerge from this void. Six beings. You don't have a lot of time because this energy is still pouring off. In there at the front, the very first figure, she is regal in her appearance. She carries herself with so much strength and power. She is demonic in a way that it just embodies everything you would think about from uh, what you know about the tieflings and the other creatures you have seen. She is the pinnacle. Her uh, four sets of horns coming off of her head, uh, bending and sweeping away uh, in like a large rack on top of her head. She wears a golden crown uh, with flames, uh, like styled as flames between them. And uh, she wears a long regal red robe. Make another constitution saving throw. For Freya as well. Uh, 19. 20. Nat 20. Freya's good. Uh, the figures good that came into the, that were in the room as you were here, they all drop to a knee in front of her. Uh, you can rec you, you just managed to look at another of these figures that has walked out. You know, there's six of them there, but you can only get the details of so many before this thing buffets against you again. Um, 
and you get a few more details off the second creature. The second creature is hooded, and underneath you see just the inkling of a skull uh, underneath this long hood. And f emerging from the long black billowing robes that it has, two scythe-like blades off of its arms. Make another constitution saving throw. Uh, Freya didn't do that good that time. 20. Uh, Freya gets a nine. I like want to get knocked out. I like want to go night. Want to go night. -night. <laughs> End of Steph campaign. Steph is tired of seeing scary things. I do not want <laughs> to meet any more of them. Thank you. You should have uh, picked a character who would willingly quit. <laughs> <laughs> You focus for a few seconds on the other side uh, of the uh, the figure in the center, and you see another uh, demonic-looking woman. Her skin ashen gray. Uh, her attire is um, very proper, very prim for what you would expect from these creatures. Uh, like the the neck of her uh, robes are done right up to the to the very bottom of her chin. Um, and she stands sternly as she emerges from this space. Another constitution saving throw, please. I assume Freya's She's unconscious. Out. Ooh, that's a two. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. So three, actually. but <laughs> So you are pushed back as well. Uh, <laughs> and you fall to unconscious. Yes, everyone is now uh, unconscious. Um you all fall into a fitful slumber, uh, one yes. filled with dark dreams. And Long rest, baby. Hey everyone, DM Anthony here, just reminding you that if you're enjoying the show, tell your friends, tell your family, uh, let people know, word of mouth, and you can support the show at patreon.com slash adventuring, or you can check out the shop at adventuringpod.com slash shop. Make sure you check the show notes and the website for all our social media, including our Discord, where you can come and hang out with some great people. We'll see you there. And until next week, I wish you nothing but critical success. Serious business. <laughs>